All right, so this should be on page 63. Okay. There's four different types of slopes. The first type of slope is called a positive slope. So if I were to draw a graph, a positive slope would look something similar to this. So a positive slope looks something like that. A negative slope looks something like this. So a negative slope would look something like this. It goes down. And a slope of zero would look something like this. And then a undefined slope would look something like this. The important thing to know is that for a zero slope, it's a zero over a number. And then for an undefined slope, it's a number over zero. Okay, let's review how do we find the slopes. It's going to be rise over run or y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. Okay, so the formula to find this, that's the formula. So we want to find both of these. We want to find the slope of q and the slope of p. I'm going to split this down the middle so we have two places to work. And we're going to first focus on Q. We're just going to focus on Q for now. Q is at negative 3 and 2. Another place, another place on that line would be 2, 0. 2 and 0. The formula is right up here. We're going to plug that in. We have our x1 x2, y1, y2. Let's plug it into our formula. y2 is 0 minus y1, which is 2, divided by x2, which is 2, minus x1, which is negative 3. That's going to be negative 2 over 5. So that's our slope. M is equal to negative 2 over 5. All right, try doing, the, try doing line Q, uh, P on your own. I'm going to give you guys two minutes to do it. Two minutes to try to do P on your own. Mm -hmm. All right, P is at... P is going to be at... There's one at negative, I'm sorry, just positive 1 and 2, and then another point at negative 2 and negative 2, this point and this point. Okay, plug into your formula, negative 2 minus, oh, forgot to label it, sorry, y1, y2, x1, x2. Divide this by, we need to do x2, which is negative 2, minus 1. Bracket. Negative 2 minus 2 is going to be negative 4, divided by negative 1 minus, negative 2 minus 1 is going to be negative 3 cancels out and we get 4 over 3 so m is equal to 4 over 3 we cancel out because a negative divided by a negative is a positive yep all right i'm gonna give you guys a couple more seconds to finish writing this down then i'm moving on i can move on right now okay Okay, we're going to label this one x1, y1, this one x2, y2. We're trying to find the slope of both of these. Plug this in. So we're going to have 8 
minus 4, 8 minus 4, divided by negative 7 minus negative 7. 8 minus 4 is 4. Negative 7 minus 7 is going to be the same as negative 7 plus 7, which is 0. So we have negative, we have 4 over 0, which is, uh, well, let's look back up here. It's undefined. All right, try doing B on your own. Easy peasy. What? Mm hmm. Okay, I can give you a mega test. Hmm. Find. This is x1, y, shh, x1, y1, x2, y2, plug it in. We have x2, y2, 6, minus y1, 6, over x2, 3, mi minus 1, minus negative 1. That's equal to 0 over 4, which has a zero slope. Yeah, this is, becomes a plus right here. Okay. Examine Examine, sorry, if you examine the slopes of pairs of parallel lines and slopes of pairs of perpendicular lines, whether neither line is on and each pair is vertical, you will discover the following properties. So these are really important and you should star both of these. This is what we've been working for for the past two days. If the two, if the two lines have the same slope, if and only if they're parallel. So they're parallel if the first slope the first slope is equal to the second slope they are perpendicular if and only if the first slope times the second slope is equal to negative one that's what that's saying up there so let's figure out example number three use the slope formula to determine whether a b are parallel or perpendicular. So we need to find the slope for both A and A, B and C, D. Let's draw a line to separate because we have to do two slope formulas. We have A, B here. And then we have C, D here. Okay. What are the points for AB? Here and here and here. So it's going to be A, which is at negative 1, negative 1, and B, which is at 1, 5. This is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. Plug into the formula up here. We have 5 minus negative 1 divided by 1 minus negative 1. That's going to be, this, if you have minus a negative, it's the same thing as plus, minus a negative, same thing as plus, 6 over 2, which is equal to 3. Okay, 
I made a mistake. I want you guys to switch this to eight and three. Eight and three. All right, CD. C is now at 8 and 3. D is now at 5 and 4. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. We have 4 minus 3 over 5 minus 8. What's 4 minus 3? What's 5 minus 8? Negative 3. Are those two the same thing? Is this the same as this? So these are not parallel. Let's see if they're perpendicular. If they're perpendicular, this slope times this slope should be equal to what? So 3 over 1, which is the same as 3, times our other slope, which is 1 over negative 3, should be equal to negative 1, if it's perpendicular. 3 times 1 is, when you multiply, you go across, 3. 1 times negative 3 is, what does this simplify to be? Negative 1. So, since the product of, those two, since the product of their slopes is blank, what's the product of their slopes? Product means multiplying. Negative. Negative one. The two lines are perpendicular. And don't worry about this part. Okay. Your homework. Wait, I thought we loved homework. Your homework is going to be on this page, 15 through 20. Here's, here's the answers to the first two, so you can work these in class, see if you get them right. Those are the answers. I expect there to be work 